In this video, we are going to learn how to download libraries from Alta Librarian and how to verify downloaded libraries on Cadence, Orcad, and Allegro. We will start with login into Alta Librarian. If you don't have account, then please register on altalibrarian.com. After login, we'll see this kind of window, and here you can search any manufacturing part number or keyword you wanted to download the library for. So in my case, I'm going to use LM7805S. It is a 5 volt regulator. So I'm just going to download the footprint and its symbol and 3D model. So let's search that first. So we'll see these options. Let's click over the first option. And as soon as we'll click over there, we'll see its symbol, footprint and its 3D model is available with Alta Librarian. And here they have given couple of views. So for symbol, it is fine. But if you'll see the footprint, they have two options, basic view and detailed view. You can check out those. Plus they have different size of pads available for this particular footprint. And you can check its 3D model as well. Let's click over download now. I'm going to download this footprint for cadence. So here we'll see couple of options, and out of these many options, we can select multiple of these. So we'll start with Orcad and Allegro PCB editor. So this will be a footprint file. This will be our schematic symbol file. Next we'll click over 3D CAD model, and from here we can add step file as well. Another is what symbol pin ordering you want either you want sequential or functional so i want functional ordering and what is the unit that you wanted to prefer for this particular footprint now let's download now once the download is complete let's extract the file quickly go back to download and here we'll see three folders one is for footprint, one is for capture symbol and another one is for step file. We'll start with creating a symbol on capture CIS first. So let's double click on this one. And this is the file that we need to import. And they've also provided the import guide. So open capture CIS, go to file, import and click over library XML. Now from here we have to locate where is XML file. So this is the one, open and it will automatically select where it is going to uh, generate the OLB or the library file. So you can just change this path. If you are okay with this one, then leave it as it is and click over OK. So as soon as you have clicked on OK tab, go back to your download folder go back to your capture xml file and here you can see the symbol is created so let me open that all right and here you can see it is created a symbol so this is how you can edit it and if you are maintaining a center library you can copy this complete symbol and paste it there so as you can see here uh, this manufacturing part number is kind of uh, change that whatever we have expected so if we'll go to part properties here you'll find the exact manufacturing part number so what i'm going to do i'm just going to replace it on the value section so make it lm7805 that's it and whatever the parameters you wanted to remove you can remove those if you wanted to add any parameter using this button, you can add any new property or new parameters. All right. So yeah, this is the symbol part. Let's move to the footprint part. Let's start with importing a footprint on Allegro and then we'll discuss 3D model assignment. So for that, let's go back to the folder and go to inside Allegro version 17.2 and here you'll find a batch file. So the next step is you have to edit this file, right click here and open it on notepad++. Now here as you can see on this we have to locate this allegro.exe file on our C drive. So for that this is the path that we have to put here. So go to the C drive cadence spv17.4 tools bin and here you will find this allegro.exe. 
So I'm just going to copy it and put this path before allegro.exe and put a backslash. So that's it. Now press Ctrl S. So this file is updated now. Go back to our folder and run this batch file. So it is asking you to access this ORCAD PCB editor professional. So let's give it the access. And as you can see, it is creating all three types of uh, footprints that we can use as per our application. So that's it. As you can see, all the pad stack and footprints are created. If you want, you can open it. So let's open it on PCB editor 17.4. As you can see on the screen, our footprint is ready to use. If you want, you can still verify it with the data sheet of the component. Now the next step is we have to check its 3D model is properly assigned or not. For that, open 3D canvas provided by Cadence Allegro. And here also you can change the orientation and the position of 3D model. And if you are maintaining a center library, you can copy it there. Otherwise, our footprint is ready to use. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.